Welcome back to Task 1.6, Cashbook Entry. From here onwards, you will learn how to enter the transaction. We will start with Cashbook Entry, Receipt Voucher. You have two options here. You may click at GL Cashbook Entry from the drop down menu, but I would like you to use my method by using the widget of Cashbook Entry. Simply just left click on your mouse and it will prompt an option for you either to select Receipt Voucher or Payment Voucher. For now, you select New Receipt Voucher. Okay, from here, enter your receipt from the owner. Description. Enter your date, 5th of January. Voucher number new, you don't have to change it to OR1. Instead, just leave it as the setting it is. Just leave it as it is. This new in the bracket is consider auto running. If you want to check if your running number is correct, you may look at the top middle of the form. You can see there is a next possible number. Just leave it there. Payment method. Select CIMB. At this moment, leave the payment amount blank. Add an account. To add account, you need to go to the top. There's a plus sign. Add. And you may select the account. This is the first one. Capital. Rename. Enter the amount 100 okay. automatically. To update the amount, just click at any white surface from the same form and it will update the amount into payment method row. Before you click save, click the proceed new receipt voucher. When you click, it will prompt. When you enable and you click save, it will open a new form for you to fill. You need to specify a check number. No. Second transaction is cash customer. Description is sales. Again, voucher number remain auto running in, and if you want to check the running number, look at the next possible number is OR2. Change the date into 6th of January. Select payment method cash. Again, leave the payment amount blank. Add an account which is cash sales. Select sales. Change your description into amount 10,000. Click in white space to update. Until now, you only fill up a form. It's actually a method of double entry. And if you would like to check how the double entry works, you can click at Top here, there is a edit tab. Select view hosting details, and it will show you how the double entry works. You may close to proceed before you end this. Click once you're ready. Click again home and save. 
our next exercise our next exercise we will use a copy voucher function since you already at an since you are already at an empty form observe the panel on top select copy from other cashbook enter your keyword our next exercise will be sales so i assume so i assume if i enter the keyword sales and enter to search it will show me the document related to the keyword sales and yes it appeared that we previously enter a sales document click to highlight and okay that's it from here check your document number next possible number is or3 next possible number is or next possible number is or3 change your date Change your description Change the amount into only 200 and it will automatically update the payment method payment amount change Since this is our last document for receipt voucher I would like you to untick the profit in your receipt voucher and click save. Next, I would like to cancel or void my receipt voucher or free. We bring up the listing first. So click, hover your mouse into widget cash entry, use your right click use your mouse right click and it will show you the listing we have one two and three and i would like to void or cancel document or out three highlight the document for our three and click view when you click view then only you can see the option for void I'll show you again. Let's say I don't click view. I click edit. The void button is not available. Cancel. Again, click view. Since you want to void this document, just simply click the void button. If you select delete, this document will be permanently gone. Select void and confirm yes there is an indication of void appear if let's say you want to unvoid just simply click back the button unvoid now close the document the void document or cancel document will be indicated as cancel now i will show you how to filter the document let's say i want you to ascending and descending the document now it's currently from bottom to the top i want it to be the other way around just click at the header and it will change ascending to descending next let's say i want to hide the cancel document that will be easy Hover your mouse at the corner of your header. You can see there's a tiny dot there. Just click it. Currently it's all, but I don't want it to show cancel, so I just enable the blank and close. Now it won't show the cancel document. Let's say I want it, I want it to back to normal from uh, the default view. Just simply right click and reset and it will back to the default view. 
that's the end of Pass 1.6 Cashbook Entry Receipt Voucher. Thank you.